Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Welcome to my channel. Or if you are a returning viewer, welcome back to my channel. And for all the new ones, if you don't mind, hit the little subscribe button and click the bell and select all notifications so you'll be notified every time I post a video. But new or returning subscribers, you're all viewers of awesomeness to me. Today's video is going to be, now I don't have a three chamber split cup, so I'm going to do a five chamber split, split cup, but only use the middle three. So I'm going to be putting colors in here, and then these two are going to get um, just a uh, pearl. So first, I'm going to start with some primary magenta by Amsterdam mixed with some Vallejo pearl. Um, I just did the paint and the Vallejo pearl one to one, and then I did the um, did the um, um, paint to pouring medium one one part paint to one and a half parts of pouring medium. Oh. Okay. Had a little crusty right there. Not a booger, a crusty. Okay, so here is some Vallejo, some primary magenta mixed with Vallejo. Okay, let me see. I'm going to do, I got all these colors out here that I fixed earlier. I'm going to do um, some Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam on top of that. I hope that this is enough. I know this canvas, going by Mina Viegas' um, calculations, takes five and a half ounces. Um, I can't remember how big this cup actually is. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of Viridian Montmart on top of it. All the paints I'm using will be listed down in the description with links for, for where you can go find them at. Okay, this is some Viridian Montmart. Uh, oh, I need definitely more. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to give it... I'm going to put this light gold in there. It's Chroma Moten Metals Dorado Gold. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to do a few more layers of these other colors. I'll put some of the magenta in there. And I'm going to skip the blue, but I am going to put some um, viridian on top of the magenta because these two colors do look good together. Okay, then on the other two chambers, I've got my white pearl mix. Well, it's Fiona's white pearl mix. It's one part titanium white, one part Vallejo pearl, and then four parts of pouring medium. And if I, if I forgot to tell you, all these ratios for how I mixed them will be listed down in the description. And my pouring medium is just Michael's Craft Smart glue. And oh, come on. I can't see. There we go. Uh, Michael's Craft Smart glue and water. The pouring medium is 60% Michael's Craft Smart glue and 40% water mixed together. And sometimes in these paints I've got to put um a little bit of water because you know even some colors even in different um s different colors in the same brand can be oh, different consistencies so they don't always mix up together okay I'll put that over there okay now i'm going to do what i've seen fiona do she goes across real slow and with having the white on either side 
is where you're supposed to be where you're supposed to get the feather at uh, you know what I knew I forgot something let me get my turntable out because I want it to be going the same way each time okay so now I want to I'm going to be pulling there's a, there's a difference pulling is pulling it this way pushing is when you're pushing it and I'm going to be going really super slow
I just want to move it down a little bit just to kind of get rid of some of that white right there. That plain white is just bothering me. Now it's closing it up some. Wait a minute, let me see about moving it that way a little bit. Because I think it'll give me a better comp composition if I move all that, those two pinks or magentas down a little bit. I hope nobody's yelling at the screen, stop, it's good the way it is. I w know what I want. It is my painting, okay? But I'll listen to you guys sometimes on my live. Um, but I just felt I wanted more, more of this and less of this. Although, now, let me see. I don't know if I've got enough on there to still move or not. Yeah, I'm moving a little bit. Moving just a little bit. So, I'm going to have to call this one done because I'm in love with the details in it. Tell me down in the comments when I should have stopped, okay? You can tell me the timestamp of the video of when you thought I should have stopped. Um, I'd love to hear what other people are thinking. Um, I need to torch it, but I need to clean my gloves before I get my torch all sticky. So let me wipe off my fingers. Okay, now one other thing I can't figure out what the orientation would look best as. So, I'm going to bring it up for a close-up, but tell me, okay, this is A, this is the way I think it looks for A. Look at those details right there, okay? But this is B. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is C. I can tell you right now, I don't like that pink above this lighter color. So I think this is D. Um, it's a toss-up for me between A and D. So this is D, okay? And this is A. So tell me down in the comments, which one do you like better?